In this video, we're going to learn how to import Adalo collection records into Airtable. The first thing you need to do is to go to the Airtable app marketplace and install the free data fetcher app. The next thing you need to do is sign up for a free data fetcher account or sign into your existing account. Then click on create your first request. For application, select Adalo. Then we need to grab our Adalo API key. So go to Adalo, click on settings, app access, and then copy your API key. Then enter this in the API key input within data fetcher. And then for endpoints, select get all, record, get all records in a database collection. Then for the name, change it to fetch Adalo records and click save and continue in the bottom right. Then we need to grab the URL for our collection. So back in Adalo, click on the database icon. Then click on the database collection that you want to get records for and click on the number of records on the right hand side. So I'm going to use users. So I'm going to click here and we can see a table opens and then we want to copy the URL from the browser and paste that into collection URL. Then click on save and run. You can toggle this so we don't always see this warning. And then we can see the fields have all been imported from Adalo and we can select which ones we want to pull into data fetcher. So I'm going to click filter all to get rid of all of them and then add back in ID. And this is an important one to add because this identifies each user or each collection record. And also keep email and full name. And I'm going to map the full name one to an existing field. I'm going to use the existing name field rather than creating a new field. So once you're happy and you've got all the fields imported that you want to, click save and run in the bottom right. Data Fetcher is going to create any of those missing fields, any of those new fields, and then pull in the data from Adalo. So back in Data Fetcher, you can toggle this and click close. And then down in the advanced settings, change the update based on field to ID and click save. Now what this means is that if we make any changes to this data or if we move records about within Airtable, Next time we run the, run the request and fetch Adalo records, it's going to update all of them based on that unique ID field. So for example, if I change Steve Bob's and I click run, it pulled in the name from Adalo and fixed it. Finally, I'm going to schedule this to run every hour. So click schedule this request every hour, every day of the week, click save, and that is going to import that Adalo collection into Airtable every hour.